This just came in. I'm looking forward to using it. My vacuum that I had since 2016, sometime last year, my ash vacuum that I had since 2016, which I paid $80 for, just uh, stopped working last year and I've been in the market ever since. So the winter's back again, it's November of 2020. I'm getting ready for the winter. And I love these things, the way it can suck up ashes. So I've sold this one on Amazon. This one, I paid $49.99, but right now they have it for $39.99. I'm trying to get the price difference from the manufacturer. They don't offer free returns. It's one of those uh, sellers that you have to go through the seller in regards to getting it returned. And I believe there's a two year warranty on it. So we're gonna see how well it works. I just requested a $10 price difference. Let's see what they do. I'll let you know that before I end the video, if they contact me by then. I'm gonna try this out. Uh, I have a wood burning stove and, then ha and I have an open fireplace. The open fireplace is not a big deal to some extent, but if too many ashes build up, I can't get to the latch or the opening below on the floor of the open fireplace where it allows me to let all the ashes out and it, and it goes through this like, uh, I don't know, um, I'm gonna call them uh, cement wall openings. It's a, it's a small opening where it allows me to push the ashes out and then on the outside of my home there's a little latch door that allows me to pull the ashes out. I'm new to fireplaces. I've only owned one for the last six years. So I used to know the technical term, but it has a it has an area in the open fireplace that I on the first floor. It has a small area that allows me to push the ashes um, to the outside uh, without having to lug it around the home. But I always need to get some of the first ashes out of the way and I'm looking forward to using this vacuum. Some people, I if I I was reading some of the uh, reviews, they use it for regular vacuuming. Supposedly it has a really strong suction and we're gonna check it out. And it's half the price of what I paid for the other one. So let's open it up. I don't think there's much to opening up in the box. I guess everything will come inside the cylinder. Wow, nothing else. So hopefully this is an easy using the box. So I usually measure everything. The one that I, the one that I had, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I ended up throwing it away. Um, had wheels in the bottom. So it's about one, about one 12 inches or one foot tall. And this is not scientific. <laughs> we'll see. How big it is round uh, it's about three feet and from the top to bottom by 11 and a half it looks like your view is better than mine What am I getting here? Yeah, about 11 and a half, almost 11 and a half. 11 and 3 eighths, it looks like. This is the top part. That's, I guess, where the motor. This is plastic.
five gallon capacity on and off two latches let's measure the let's take it off first i guess that's where the holes will go okay that's where the motor is this is the actual canister the items are inside if it stops working you can use this as a uh, trash can Let's measure the oh that's cool so it doesn't have the ground so it's gonna you can pretty much plug it anywhere you need a, I, I hope I, I'm not sure this is just I guess I could put it on I could put it on an extension cord and I need to get the three prong ground so that's pretty cool so let's measure the again let's measure the cable to see how far the outlet or the electrical connection has to be from the vacuum. Uh, it's about 16 feet, 4 inches, almost. I'm going to say 16 feet, 3 inches. That's the guarantee. 16 feet, 3 inches. So it's pretty long. You should have no issues whatsoever distance wise this is the motor part it's a an 800 watt 120 volt motor um, the ash rack is made for collecting ashes from grills fireplaces wood stoves and pellet stoves its waterproof rating is IPX4 and its temperature range, I guess, for the hose is 104 degrees. I mean, I wouldn't try to collect ashes with this while the ambers are bright red. That would probably not be a good thing. Uh, there's a lot less to this item than I thought. It's pretty cool. So this is the hose itself and it's a rubbery, rubber outside, but on the inside you can see the metal in the middle. I guess that's to make sure if you do get a red hot amber, it won't go through the plastic. That's pretty cool. The hose itself. It's about that wide. And the length of the hose is going to be... Uh, about that long, about 40 inches long, or three feet long. Oh, this is nice looking. This looks about 12 inches. Uh, nine inches. About the same opening size. That's pretty good. These are the instructions and stuff. I'll have this at the end. If you look at the slideshow, you'll see page by page go by. I usually put some music in the background so you don't get too bored. And I'll have this at the end on how to use it. I have to read this also. And uh, let me just show you everything that comes inside so you'll know if you're missing anything. So that's everything. inside you put this somewhere here does it matter it has these notches they look like the same on both ends so I don't think there's a difference on where you put this it'll just go in Okay, so it snaps in. The little latch right, latch right there will go in there, right there. Let's 
pointing upward. And I think both ends, it doesn't matter which one. So you put it in, then you turn it. It's locked into place nicely. This is the filter. And oh, it's pretty cool. So it has a Velcro so you can take it out. So I guess while it's sucking up the ashes, you can easily clean it with this. Can you take this off too? I don't think so. Oh, it does come off. Hold on. There it goes. So that does come off. It has to be replaceable, but I wasn't sure if you had to replace it with screws. Okay. That's the filter. Reminds me of a truck filter. <laughs> This is the actual filter itself to make it easier to clean when you're sucking up the ashes to total length. And in the middle will be that wide. Pretty cool. Let's see how long this thing is. So I'm assuming this is a filter for the filter. It's about a little over 20 inches, 20 and a half inches. And it has a little Velcro, oh, and then the lint from top to bottom is uh, about three and a half. And this is the Velcro. So I guess it's the filter for the filter. Pretty cool. And this is... cover it and it's good so now uh, what is this oh it's a warranty card maybe I might fill this out I'll have this at the end also It has a nice handle and the handle is about three inches tall and its longest point it's about six and a half inches wide and let's put it back together and let me see does it go here okay I, I'm assuming these notches is where it has this notch here so I guess that's where the claps, clamps go, since both of them have latches. Latch it down. And now let's look at the total size of the hose. Taste down here, 43 inches of holes you get on the top here. I'm not counting this part. And you can see right there, it has the way you twist it for closing and opening. All right, let's uh, try it out. It was real simple, uh, pretty light. I don't know if I can, let me see if I can weigh this. I think, according to the website, it is about, uh, I think it's five pounds in weight. I'm not sure, let me just, I don't think my scale's gonna be able to weigh this. But we'll see. So yeah, almost, I think, yep, I think the website is right, about five pounds. It's at an angle, so it's not getting the total weight. I'm gonna say five pounds. 
total weight. I don't know how much it's going to be with the ashes in it. I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit heavier, but it shouldn't be hard to lug around. So I did a fire yesterday, and I did a fire, I think, a couple of weeks ago on the open fireplace, and there's a lot of ashes to clean. So I'll try it out and let you know, yay or nay, I'm hoping it works. I'm really looking forward to this working, and the reviews were great. I think it had, uh, I don't remember if this is the actual item, but I think it either had six five-star reviews or 60-something four-and-a-half-star reviews, one or the other. Uh, you can check the website. And you'll see for yourself so let's try it out but just before i start vacuuming why don't we plug it in just to see how it sounds and if it even has a powerful motor <laughs> I just sucked something up. You can see the top actually moving. Look at that. A lot of suction. Oh, I didn't get to show you that. Um, okay, there's the piece of plastic that came up and the piece of paper. I don't know if that shows you anything. Let's try it again. It only has one setting, on and off, and that is it. That's all it has. Ready? So let's do this one. Took a minute now. That was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna probably be using this as a vacuum on, in the downstairs. Be pretty cool. Great. All right. Let's uh, try it out on both my fireplaces. I'll let you know how long it takes.
up, but the filter got really dirty. So let me clean that off to see if the suction helps better. I mean, the suction's still there. It just seems to be lost more. I could just vacuum everything. Um, I ended up using one my scooper for, I'd say, 80% of the work. But I pretty much, the rest of it got allowed me to get in without having to use the scooper and having the ashes come out. You know how you have the ashes right in front of the opening. Here, if you use something to clean it out, a shovel or a, I use a scooper, this thing right here, which is an animal feed. This thing right here, for feeding animals, I use it to scoop the ashes and it works really, really well. So when I first go into the front, I always get the ashes coming out on the floor. This allowed me to clean most of that up and then it was just too much. It was too much ash. I haven't cleaned this out in a while. Let me clean it up, see if it makes a difference in regards to the filter. So after allowing the filter to air dry, I put it back in. Um, it seems to be working. I've got most of the ashes out. Like I said, I used most of, I used the scooper to get a lot of it out, but um, I did use the vacuum, probably 10% of this was the vacuum. And it helped in the front of it. So it's not too bad. It's not gonna suck up everything like a Dyson, let's say. But it seems to be working. But let's go upstairs to the fireplace and try that out. I just wanna mention also that, you know, always wear a mask. I put on a mask and I use gloves too. And I use uh, protective lenses to keep, you know, dust. Uh, and if you can wear a hat to keep the dust off your hair, out of your hair. So let's go upstairs and try it on the fireplace. This is the Great Wall of Fire. I've done a video on this. That's the plate that goes in the back. If you have an open fireplace like this, this is the great to invest in. This thing is awesome. It's the great, G-R-A-T-E, wall of fire. This is awesome. It works really, really well. I, I, it's just an awesome device. So if you're watching this about the vacuum and you don't have a one of these Units, they sell it on Amazon, free shipping, weighs 60 pounds total. I would get both of them because the uh, logs are vertically stacked. And when they're vertically stacked, they lean up against the wall and it produces so much heat that you may, if you're only using the grate, you may destroy the back. The metal in the back, the iron, iron piece in the back, protects your wall. Also, it radiates heat inward into the home. So you can get it right up to the front of the fireplace, well over 100 degrees, works really well. So let's vacuum up some ashes. So the whole canister just filled up. I just emptied it, but it's not turning on. And what I do see is that the motor is really hot. It's uh, hot to the touch. So let me give it a little while to see if it turns on by itself. But it's the motor. Wow, it's really, really hot. All right, let me see how long it takes. It took about 10 minutes, 10, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 15 minutes for the engine to totally cool. It is working, but I took out the filters and had cleaned them just in case that might have been the issue, but that wasn't the issue. I need the filters because <laughs> I learned the hard way. If you don't have the filter in there and you turn it on, 
everything that's in the bucket comes out this way straight up and fills the room with a nice cloud of ashes so do not run this without the filter or else you're gonna get everything that's in there coming right out so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow so it, um, I'm gonna wait for the filters to fully dry and I'll finish off the fireplace on the main floor of the open room. let the filter dry and again what I did was I took this out, I ran it through cold water, got it as clean as I could, then you, I guess you put this back, and uh, it's like a filtration system for the filter, or a cover for the filter. Um, I'm hoping this is supposed to be here. You know, I, I can't, I don't see anything in the instruction manual. In the instruction manual, it says, it's the filter sponge. What that necessarily means, I don't know. The instructions manual is not too clear on my instruction manual. Let me try something. Let me try without it. See what the difference is. As you saw it, that's earlier. The sucking up and everything was through this. I want to see how black this gets. I don't have much to clean. As you can see, I got a lot of it out. And uh, let's just clean the rest. I'll let you know if it's a little bit more powerful with or without it. Again, you know, I should contact the manufacturer. Just to let you know, I did contact them in regards to the price difference now, and they gave me the $10 difference. So it's $39. I paid $80 last, uh, several years ago for the one I had that lasted for a few years. And it has a two-year warranty. And they seem very responsive. Uh, when I emailed them, they got back to me within a day. So they're pretty fast. The customer service seems to be really good at this time, November of 2020. let's see what happens to the filter without the filter sponge on I really didn't see a dramatic difference between using the filter sponge and not using it it was still the same suction I didn't see much of a difference there's no improvement at all but let's look at the filter to see if it really gets dirty without it and it is yeah I'm yeah I would use it with the sponge it's easier to clean this gets dirty you take it out you clean it and you put it right back um, yeah look how dirty that's gotten uh, it wasn't that dirty yesterday. It's up to you, but I think I'm going to stick with using the, fil the filter sponge. So I'm pretty much done. I usually don't clean my fireplace this well. One of the nice things about this fireplace is that it does have this slot here. And it allows me to push a lot of the ashes outside. And then outside, I collect it in a trash can. So it makes it easier when I need to clean it up a little bit. I never clean it up this much. I, uh, I like a little bit of ashes underneath. Uh, I, I find that the fire burns better with some ashes underneath. Uh, totally clean is a whole new setup. I'm, it's totally clean because I'm testing the vacuum out and I'm showing it on the video. But I usually don't clean it this way. Usually this gets cleaned this way once a year by the chimney guys that I, I get. Uh, and if you have this and you use it, Make sure you do. I, I personally believe in getting a uh, cheating and sweep, getting somebody to look at it, or you do it. You got to get somebody to look at it, or you got to clean the chimney. Make sure that, you know, all fire hazards are as prevented as it could be, which is to, you know, you want to clean that chimney. I usually hire a guy because it's, I'm new to this. I'm not good at it. And 
I'd rather have someone else. Eventually, as the years go by, I will definitely start doing it on my own. I just find they do such a great job. They come with all the equipment. Uh, they cover this all up and and they clean it up spotless. My whole fireplace is like everything's gone. They wipe everything down. They're amazing. And it's not too much. So uh, they do a great job. So usually I get them to do it. I don't trust myself as much as I... I think they're the professionals, and since this is a fireplace, until I'm comfortable with that, I'll let them do it. The I like the little slot there. It allows me to clean it up pretty nice. Like I said, I usually leave a bed of ashes on there. When you're working with the fireplace, I would suggest wearing, I wear like fireproof gloves. I usually get my welding gloves. Right now, I'm just using a regular set, uh, which I have. Let me just show you what I use. So when I'm working near the fire or I'm doing the ash cleaning up of, you know, taking the ashes out, this is usually my setup. A mask, gloves, some fireproof gloves. I wear, uh, just in case, because sometimes uh, I forget why the wood crackles. I think it's because there's water inside and you'll get those crackles come out and, you know, those snapping of the fire and I don't want anything to hit me in the eye. And I use this, I, this has probably been my best thing I purchased. This is for, uh, I think it's for horse feed or animal feed in a farm. And I've been using it for ashes and since it's curved. I have a shovel, but when I pick up ashes with the shovel, it goes off to the side. This is great because the, shelf, the, the ashes don't go anywhere. They stay in here, you can pick it up and then you can dump it in the trash can. I have two trash cans where I collect the ashes downstairs and I leave it outside. So again, you know, whenever you're doing anything in the fireplace, changing wood, whatever, you know, make sure you have the proper protection. I usually don't wear the mask when I'm putting in firewood or whatever. I usually just use the gloves if I'm adding wood and sometimes the glasses. You know, just be careful. It's fire. It can be very, very dangerous. It's fire. I'm finishing off the video. I'm very happy with the vacuum. No issue. I like it. But again, don't do what I just did. I think, yes, you should use this. And you can just see the amount of ash that was collected by the filter. So I think this is necessary. I think that's too many ashes. And it's gonna be inside there. And it collects a lot of ashes. I filled this up twice yesterday to clean this and the one downstairs. And it does a pretty good job. It's not a Dyson, but it cleans very well, ashes, and that's what it's meant for. Uh, let me see, anything else I want to say about it? It, it? I'm happy with it. I was happy with the other one. It died, and that's the only reason that I'm getting it replaced is because I don't have it anymore. So that's the reason why I got another one. That's the only reason, honestly. And I was sad, you know, someone had replied on one of my videos on the last vacuum. I hope yours lasts as long as mine, and it did. I don't, you know, these, you're picking up ashes and everything. So, yeah, I think if you get two years out of it, especially at the cost of $40, it's well worth it. I don't have no complaints. Like I said, I'm not looking to vacuum the fireplace like that. Should be wearing gloves. I'm just looking to be able to, uh, because after the fire gets going, if I burn, you know, let's say 20 fires in this place, and I use this place, this fireplace a lot, the one up downstairs and the one here, I use it a lot. I'm just looking to get rid of the, ashes that come forward. So a lot of it spills over down onto the bricks here. So I'm just looking to be able to just clean that up at the edges. And this is doing more than enough. When I do a real cleaning, I usually, I'm not gonna use the vacuum as a cleaner like I would my Dyson in, in my home. I use this and then I get my trash can and I put all the excess inside the trash can and that's it. Uh, you know, the I have another, I have a big trash can that I keep all the ashes in. But besides that, I don't, I don't usually clean it this well. There's no need for it. I always leave a small bed of ashes. Well, I actually leave a lot of ashes. I usually do this cleaning once a year by the gentleman who comes and cleans the actual uh, fireplace. So again, I just clean it enough that it doesn't fall out into the home. Um, and so I think it's gonna suit my purposes. I like it, I like it a lot and um, I'll probably do an update in about a year, let you know if it's working, uh, maybe November of next year. So if you're watching this video, it is November 2020. If it's November 2021 or above, 
let me know if you would like an updated video and I'll let you know how, how it's working or not working. But like I said, the customer service seems pretty good. I contacted them. They contacted me within 24 hours and it's $39, pretty decent price. And some people have been using it just as a regular vacuum according to what I've read on the reviews. So, um, okay, I guess that's all I have to say. I hope the video is helpful. I hope I answered any questions. If you have any questions, just let me know below. I usually get back to you. I usually get back to questions within uh, within a day or two. Give me a chance because since I've been making more videos on so many different uh, subjects and different items, it gets a little bit overwhelming and I'm doing this all on my own. There's nobody else. I usually get my family to help me with certain videos, but pretty much I'm answering the questions on my own. And I went from answering two or three questions to now I get 10 to 20 questions a day. And I answer every single question as soon as I could. But sometimes it takes me a couple of days because I might get 30 questions and I have to research, find out, maybe relook at the item to answer the question. So just give me a chance to do that. Um, but I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. And uh, again, oh, before I leave again, it's not the regular Amazon return. You have to contact the company for returns. Amazon will not take this back. It's one of those companies. Very few in Amazon. Mostly they do have free returns, very easy returns, but this is from the company and it won't be that way. So you'll have to contact the company to have this return. And it came through UPS. So I think since it is a private company, they send this stuff through UPS. Okay, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Tech Life Ash Vacuum Cleaner 800 watts 5 gallon 120 volts 3.3 feet hose plus 7.9 inches tube debris dust ash collector for grill fireplace wood stoves and pellet stove date, November 10, 2020. Cost $39.99. Purchased on Amazon's website. Detachable and washable, the accordion filter with a filter sheet provides double filtration to prevent clogging. Both filters are detachable and washable. If you need to get a new filter sheet, please search FBO1A. High qualified, the metal body is very durable. The inside of the extension tube is made of metal, which makes it heat resistant. Quiet and powerful 800 watts motor generates more than 15 per suction power. Multifunctional, with suction and blow function, this ash vac can be used in different ways. Like picking up ash, dust, debris in fireplaces, pellet stove, wood burners, grills, fire pits, etc. Besides, the blowing function can be used to remove dust in the dead corner or to gather ash, pets hair and leaves together for easy cleaning. Suitable all year round. Convenient, 0.2 meters aluminum extension tube and 5 meters power cord provide a wider cleaning area, more convenient and easy to clean out every corner of your fireplaces. Purchase guarantee, the product has one year assurance from the date of your purchase, if you have any questions during use, Please contact customer service, our professional support team will always provide you satisfying solution within 24 hours. Product Description Tac Life Ash Vacuum Special Features The ergonomic handle of the vacuum cleaner makes the transport easier and safer. The removable washable filter allows you to clean the filter after each use to avoid any clutter. 1.2 meters long hose and 5 meters long power cord provide a wider working area. Suitable for grills, fireplaces, pellet stove, fire pits, log burners. Suitable for both summer and winter. Attention! Please remember to clean the filter as well as the filter sheet regularly to avoid clogging. Hope this will help you. Attention! Do not use this ash vac to collect burning coal, which will cause damage to the machine. The correct operation is to use it to collect burned out and cooled coal, ash, etc. Technical details Weight, 3.5 kg Capacity, 5 gallon Power, 800 W Vacuum degree, greater than or equal to 14.5 Pa Cord length, 5 M Hose length, 1.2 M Waterproof, IPX4 Temperature range, 104 degrees Fahrenheit Product information Product dimensions 12.6 by 12.6 by 12.6 inches. 
Manufacturer TAC Life. ASIN BO8KWDFJHJ. Thank you.